I'm here at the Microsoft website in their knowledge base and uh, I'm thinking about subtitling this video things that make you go jeesh um, I was trying to find out uh, if there's a quick and easy way to back up my Outlook Express email settings address books and all that sort of stuff and this basically is the answer to the question how do I back up Outlook Express email and this is the answer to the question and I'm thinking to myself there you gotta be kidding alright but I'll tell you what let's let's make this an instructional video and let's see if we can back up our Outlook Express here following Microsoft's instructions bless their hearts alright the first thing I gotta do alright is I've gotta go to my Outlook Express all right, there's Outlook Express. And under the, let's see, is it the file menu or the tools menu? Bear with me a second. All right, it's under the tools options. Options. And under maintenance, there's a button here that says store folder. Store folder. <laughs> cute and if you click that button it tells you right here that all of your email is stored in this folder so what we have to do is highlight all of that copy it okay and close this down and we go to start run and we paste that in here paste okay and then we click OK and that opens up the store folder these are the all of your emails all these are all your email folders and assumedly the emails they contain 23,000 kilobytes, 23 meg yeah, they better contain the emails, that's all I gotta say. What we do now is we go under edit, we do select all, and then under edit, we click copy, and we can close that. Now we go to our desktop, look at that mess, <laughs> and we create a new folder and we call it male backup I suppose as opposed to female backup I don't know male backup alright and we open that folder and we paste all of the stuff we just copied into that folder where's my paste there it is alright there we go it's pasting all of the stuff that's stored in my store folder all the folder email folders and the emails they contain assumedly and there that's done now I'm gonna pause for a second while I go check step two okay step two now we get to export all of our address book put that in there okay all right now back to Outlook Express oh boy all right we click on file and we click on export and we click on address book now let me drag this in here and you're supposed to choose the CSV file it's export as a text file comma separated values you know of course that's a file that can usually be read by Microsoft Excel <laughs> yeah let's keep it all in the family here all right and we've chosen that and let's click export and we've got to browse to where we're going to export it well that would probably be the backup email folder we just created and we're supposed to name this address book book backup and we click save 
<laughs> and then we click next and here's where you check off all of the things that are in your address book that you want saved uh, things like you know the person's name person's email address home address anything that you normally keep in your address book files all right you want to back all that up uh, along with anything else that might be there that you're keeping and that's it click finish and it's done haha <laughs> now step three okay now we have to export or save our email accounts hmm okay uh, back we go to Outlook Express and here under accounts let's see tools accounts all right here we have all of our email accounts we select one and we choose export and we're going to export again to our mail backup folder there it is and this is going to be that one account okay and save and you have to do this for each account you have export save go to the next account export save I can keep doing this and keep you watching but I'm going to put it on pause okay I've saved all those they're all saved up here as IAF files so I can take care of that and close that now what's next okay yeah you've got to uh, export all of your news group accounts to a file similar to the email accounts I'm not using news groups uh, or Outlook Express for news groups so I am not going to worry about that let's move on to the next step oh here's something interesting all of that we just did and what we haven't done is we haven't preserved our block blocked email list or our message rules when those can be a little bit important don't you think uh, and you have to refer to an entire another page in order or another another knowledge base article in order to find out how to do that great all right here I am on the other knowledge base rule on how to back up blocked senders lists and mail rules oh, and this I don't even want to go near this involves opening up your registry and looking for a file and messing with the registry is something you should not do and I'm not even going to try to do it in this e in this uh, video basically what we've done here is we backed up our Outlook Express emails folders mail accounts and uh, whatever else there we did <laughs> I'm not even sure now okay but basically there is an much easier way to do this and in the next video I'm going to show you exactly what that is so stay tuned thanks for watching and we'll see you next time